we were down on Nathan's Beach. I've got the, uh, the day off from work. We had a bit of a storm last night, or it was pretty windy. And now we uh, got a nice bit of surf just after the storm. Plan to do a bit of bait digging, just get a few worms for fishing the day. So I've got some uh, worms wrapped, but while I'm down here I can't resist doing a bit of bait pumping. It's just too tempting, all that sand. Oh, winter time, there ain't a lot of cast about. You can do a fair bit of walking, trying to find these casts. And then you just gotta hope you can eat them when you when you see one. Really stony. Sometimes if you can't get the pump in on the first first attempt, it can make it really hard work. But I don't mind a bit of hard work. See? You can it don't take long to naff your old pump up beaches like this see it's like dancing around the hole but they've got the worm so that's all that matters they're not a bad worm so I like pulling the tails off then they seem to drain out a bit quicker Another one there. They're not too big. Give it another another month, and then uh, hopefully start of spring. The worms will be there in the numbers, and they're going to be a lot easier. Only one about another, I don't know, about another 30. And that should do me. That sea does look inviting though. Just hope there's some fish out there today. So I've just loaded some um, some fresh line on the reel. Uh, I've done it at home as you can see. It's on there pretty slack, it's not under tension. So I'm gonna give it a few flicks out and uh, start off gentle and then uh, try to get as much line off as I can and then reel it in under a bit of tension. Just hope I don't get a bird's nest on the first cast. But uh, so I should start off with gentle flicks and then go from there. Well, here it goes, here's the first cast. Oh, look how loose that old line is there. So yeah, that's just the first cast. I'm not a pendulum car, so I, I just like to cast off the ground. Uh, I'll probably hit yeah, about 120, 140 yards. But there's some guys out who are actually beasts with the uh, pendulum casting. I was watching uh, Lewis Dodge on TikTok, and like he's an animal. If I could cast like that one day. Right, let's have a go again. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's the only problem. When the old line's not on there very well. It's not a bad one. But I say, I'll probably walk back now. And there's reel that line in as you can see look it's all over the place so cause get as much line off as I can just keep walking it back I've got a um, 15 pound line on in now so the other stuff is starting to wear a bit uh, a bit thin this seems to be a smaller diameter line 
so let's see how we get on with it anyway okay i'll just i'll just set the rod up i've got my other rod in the bag still i'm only gonna fish one rod at low tide and then when we hit the shingle i'll set the other rod up i've got a free hook um, flapping trace here got some old worms that i'd wrapped up from last week just gonna thread these on see how they go and then the, we fish the tide back I'll fish it up to our tide and we'll see how the fishing goes I haven't done a bit of beach fishing for quite a while now so it is nice to get out so I've got like a little sequin on that one I'm hoping there's going to be some place out there well I'll be happy with any fish to be honest with you get on there there we go right we're ready to go well first fish of the day and we got ourselves a little sea slug look at that poxy thing i just hope it gets better than that it's a start though it's a it's not a blank that wind's coming straight off the sea southerly I think they said the forecast was for about 10 to 12 mile an hour gusting up to 22 but it's not gusting at the moment conditions are just nice is that going to be a dab or is that going to be another slug? So we've got three hooks out there. I'm going to wait until the uh, tide hits the beach and then I'll set the other rod up and just stick that, that out on a single hook. El Sun's trying to break through. I'm just hoping with that um, bit of wind we had last night and the, uh, the heavy rain so I don't know how it's going to affect the fishing today. No good sitting at home thinking about it. You've got to be out here doing it. One thing for sure, they're definitely getting bigger. I hope that's uh, not the only thing that's out there. Although it's still early, we've got a long way to go yet. But yeah, lovely. Just what I wanted. So I've got both rods out now. Got a uh, three hook flapper on the right hand rod, on the left hand one I've just got a one hook uh, flow and trace on that. I'll just put a nice selection of worms on there, just chucked it out, it's only out about 50 60 yards, one in close and one out as far as we can go and see what we catch. Well, the old uh, wind's picked up a little bit, so I think they've got the weather right. It's breezing up to about I suppose 20 mile an hour at the moment sea's picked up a little bit which I'm glad as long as it don't get too rough I'm happy with that that's lovely so it's paying a bit of interest to the right hand rod there go on got three hooks on so fill them up let's have a look see what we've got on here You can get a few rattles on it. So we'll see what happens. I don't feel like there's a lot on there. Well, I was right. There's a friendly little dogfish. Just going to unhook him and then return him back. Got our first little dogfish of the day. Clear eyes on them. Yeah, they're beautiful. Hey. Some people say they're a pest, but they give you a bit of fun. They're amazing creatures. Go on. He's gone. 
This is where most fish are lost. So you get a bit of surge there and it pulls back as you're reeling in. That's where most of the fish come off. As we're getting near to uh, high tide, the fishing's starting to pick up a bit. It's been a bit slow on the way up, but uh, and we haven't had nothing massive, but we're catching. We've got a bite on the rubber rod there. It's looking like now, now we're getting near high tide, the white end are on the feed now and uh, I'm going to give it another half hour or so, just fish the other side of high tide and if it's waiting then uh, just pack up and go home. I've had a great day though, it's just been nice to get out on the beach and, and get out there and fish. <laughs> 